For the first time since 1958, neither the socialist nor the conservative mainstream political parties have made it to the second round of the French presidential election. Instead, the runoff is between two outsiders. Marine Le Pen has run her campaign on a narrow platform of political and economic sovereignty. She wants to leave both Schengen and the Eurozone and may put EU membership to a referendum. Legal immigration would be limited to 10,000 people a year. On the international stage, she opposes both TTIP and CETA. She wants to withdraw from NATO's integrated military command and instead forge closer ties with Russia. Emmanuel Macron presents a radically different outlook. Instead of withdrawing from the EU, he wants to integrate further and set up a common Eurozone budget. And on defence and the refugee crisis, he demands more European cooperation. Internationally, he supports both continued NATO membership and free trade. What unites Macron and Le Pen is that neither have guaranteed parliamentary support. Hence, even if elected, it remains questionable how much of their agenda they can really implement. Still, the outcome of the French vote will be decisive. So when on 7th of May, France chooses between isolation or integration, Europe will watch in suspense.